Hey, I am back, and this is my second video on the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint, and this time I'm gonna use the paint with silicone. So Artist Loft makes their own uh, version of silicone oil to use with these paints. Um, I have tried this already because I got it a couple of days ago and I was actually, what happened was I was testing my own silicone. I have treadmill, I've got dimethicone, and I was testing it with these. And you know, I got a few little things, but nothing major. And then when I was looking online, I found that they actually make their own silicone oil. I didn't see it at Michael's, so I ordered it from michaels.com. And this um, blows the rest away. So just, you know, I'll give it away now. The silicone oil, in the last video you saw, straight out of the bottle, no cells at all, which is great for some things, and, and it's, you know, it'll be, um, you know, there's fun things you can do with that. If you want cells, this, this is the stuff, folks. And I'll show you now in my examples. The great thing is, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, with, with the other uh, mixes and pours and everything else, there's a lot of, um, you know, mixes and trial and error. I mean, Artislav got it right. They got it right. So if you're looking for cells, um, that's the way to go. So I've already pre-mixed. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to just mix one of them. Um, today I'm using the um, phthalo blue, orange, violet, we have aqua green, we have crimson, which I've already mixed, purple, yellow. I have all the colors today. And so, you know, we'll just mix and match and see what we get. But let me show you just quickly how um, I am mixing it. I mean, it's real simple. Pour it in the cup. Um, you know, not too much. It's probably a paper cup, a little paper cup with an inch in the bottom. And then the silicone oil comes with a real nice dropper. And so I'm just dropping just two bits in there. And then we'll stir it up um, pretty gently. If you stir it up really quickly, I just did that with the white and I have bubbles everywhere. And honestly, with this, you know, if you're trying to get the cells, that's fine, no big deal. Um, if you're not trying to get cells, I've done some other paintings where I'm really trying not to get cells. And, you know, if you mix anything in it, you gotta be real slow. Okay, so just because these are the tests, I'm doing the paper again, um, which I've taped down. And if these work out, you know, I'll probably trim them out because last time the, this ripped when it was coming up. So I made it big enough this time that I can trim that out if I want to use it for something afterwards. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then the only other thing that I have here is uh, the torch, um, which I'll show you. The cells do come up. Um, and so you can see that and then the torch really <clears throat> really helps it. So we're gonna do dirty pour, swipe, and straw blow. Or straw blow, swipe. Those are really the straw blow one is my all-time favorite. But um, okay, so let's get started. Um, I think I have everything I need. So Dirty pour, we're gonna start with a basic cup. Um, you know, the other thing that I have found just in some testing, and I think it deserves more testing, is, you know, normally you have to, it really to get some good effects because it's all weight, the cells are weight-based um, a lot of times. You need um, white on the bottom or white on the top because of the different weights, and, and white really helps to uh, create the cells based on, um, you know, it, how it sinks or, or other things rise. So, um, but I kind of find with this, you, you really don't need it. So what the white does, I think is it really just helps accentuate some of the cells. So I would say, you know, you don't even have to, to do it. I'll show you a couple of examples at the end, 
that I did and um, you know with white without white you know whatever okay so I'm just gonna actually well, I'm gonna put a little bit more in here and then I'm gonna flip it because um, it's not a canvas so it's just a little more challenging but we can do it right obviously no rhyme or reason here to my method <laughs> Layering, I'm just popping these in. Okay, I think that's enough paint. So let's flip it. Boop. All right, and let's go. Boy, that's real pretty, huh? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. And you can see some cells are already starting to form, probably from all the air bubbles that were in there. And I can see those air bubbles popping and um, they're doing some stuff. So let me get all this stuff to the edge over here. Just move this a little bit more. And then I'm going to do... Okay. Now, let me just uh, do this. I mean, I'm like going all over the place, so there, this is going to be like covered in cells. So that's cool. Um, you can see silicone oil immediately is a huge difference uh, from the other one. We didn't get a single cell before, and now there's a bunch. So we'll leave that for a minute to um, do its thing. And uh, we'll go on to the next. So we'll do a straw blow. And so for that one, <clears throat> I'm just going to layer these in and then we'll blow them. All right. And so I'm just doing a straight puddle pour here. And I'm going to... Um, Throw in some red. I don't know how that will do with these colors, but whatever. This is a test. We're kind of playing, so that's okay. Do some dark blue to this, and um, we'll just do a little white, and we'll do the straw blow. Sorry if I if you see my hair as I'm trying to do this. Sometimes it's hard to reach, so. again get those cells popping up now I tried to do this one I covered the whole thing I mean literally the entire thing top to bottom of cells this one I just kind of like breezed over it so we'll see if um, the cells like expand and get a little bit bigger or what happens yeah you know, it's so funny I didn't originally really like these colors but I don't know it's interesting it's cool we'll see we'll see how that one goes it's different. Look at cool patterns. Oh, that's so neat. Okay. Last one. Swipe. And I haven't done this before, so this will this is my definite test today. And I'm gonna use my same method, um, which is the wet paper towel. So um, yeah, so we'll start pouring these babies across. And See how it goes. I didn't really want it to be too rainbowish, but that's okay. I like rain. My son, oh my gosh, he loves rainbows. He keeps coming in lately and he's like, Can I have this art? Can I have this? <laughs> he loves it and he's putting it up in his room. It's really cute. He's also done his, his own videos and um, oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
I love it. Alright. Yeah, it did end up doing a rainbow, which is cool. Alright, and now I'm going to do the white up here. And actually, because I'm starting on the paper, um, I can start a little bit further back. Okay. Let's see how this one works out. I'm hopeful. Look how awesome that is. I love it. All right. Let's get this down here. Spread it out a little. Hold on you. And let's go. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see how that develops. I'm gonna have to do the um, the thing too, but I'm gonna let that just like develop for a minute and just see what happens with these with these cells if they how much they pop on their own and how big they get. This one's cool because like these cells are slowly they continue to grow. Oh my gosh, the pattern and the colors. Really neat and unexpected. My son taught me that. You know, he was, he, when he does pours, he's nine, he literally puts every single color on and, oh my gosh, it always comes out really cool. Where I tend to just pick a little color family and do stuff like this, but look how cool and dynamic that is. Um, so we'll just let that develop. Okay, sorry, it didn't do much without the torch, so I ended up having to torch it a little. Um, so that's, but it looks really cool. So clearly the swipe is working. Um, okay, let me show you the other ones I did. This one was um, flip cut, and I just, you know, torched the whole thing. It's so cool looking. This one, also flip cut. Um, I let a bunch of cells develop first and then you can see where I torched because the, tor the, the regular cells seem to get bigger. The torch you know, stays small, almost like dragon skin. It's really neat. I like that. Um, this right here was a straw blow. So just piled p colors on and blew it all around. And again, torch for all of these. And then um, this one I did without white. Well, there was actually, I reused a cup, so there was a little bit of white left in the cup, which is over there. But you can see um, it still did, you know, this was the phthalo blue, the phthalo blue and green. And um, it looks cool. Like, again, dragon skin. It's neat. So there we have it. Let me just unhook and take you down. And we'll uh, look at these. Really pretty. This is really unexpected and now my new favorite. This looks awesome. I love this. Oh my god. The more this one's developing, the better it's getting. So cool. All right, so there we have it. Ready, mix, pour. Works like a charm with... The silicone oil. Um, I'll let these dry and then provide a snapshot of the uh, dry ones at the end of the day. All right, I am back with the dried and I just wanted to show you real quick, it's been about a day. Um, one thing to note is I poured on paper and paper will bubble up a little bit while it's drying um, and then it'll flatten back out. So some of the cells, you know, that were round got a little bit stretchy. Um, but that's okay. It was just a test, so really no big deal. Um, but anyway, it looks gorgeous. It is shiny. Um, no, not, no oil or anything here. Um, this one puffed up a lot, so the rainbow is totally unrecognizable, but it looks really cool anyway. Very defined. 
you can really see it here. So this one, I really want to show you. A, this was unexpected and beautiful. I love it. And B, I mean, look how clear this looks. It's, it still looks wet almost. Um, it's gorgeous. And again, it's shiny. Um, one thing to note, like, so if you pour on these, what you will notice is that, you know, if your canvases um, will be a little bit tacky, if you will. So if you put them down flat on something and you go to pick them up, they'll kind of stick a little bit. But what I've noticed is, you know, it's going to be just like any acrylic paint. It needs time to fully cure. And the longer time goes by, the less kind of sticky and tacky it gets. So um, just be aware of that and, um, you know, don't, don't think that it's ruined. Give it time to cure and do its thing. But anyway, I'm excited to see what you guys do and have fun. Bye.